Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Parapharyngeal spaces, we are looking at the compartments. So there is a pre as well as the post segments. So first let's look at the pre -styloid. So in pre the relation to the styloid is anterior. So it means it is anterior. And how is it related? The relation is that medially and laterally what is present. So medially it is nothing but the tonsillar fossa. Next when you look at laterally it will be the medial pterygoid muscle. Medial pterygoid muscle. So medially it is the tonsillar fossa, laterally the medial pterygoid muscle. So here it is M and T, M T. So medial tonsillar fossa, lateral medial pterygoid muscle. Next is the contents. The contents of the pre styloid is a medial pterygoid muscle. As we saw in the lateral relation, medial pterygoid muscle is the content. Now, how does it present? So, the presentation is if there is a prolapse of the tonsil, so there will be prolapse, and the prolapse is of the tonsil. And next will be as well as a tonsillar fossa. There will be spasm of the medial pterygoid muscle leading to the trismus. There is spasm of the medial pterygoid muscle. Medial pterygoid. Spasm of the medial pterygoid muscle. And this will lead to the trismus. So spasm of the medial pterygoid muscle leading to trismus. Next we move on to the post styloid. So post styloid, the relation to the styloid is going to be posterior. So it is posterior. So relation is again, we have medial relation and the lateral relation. Medially, it is posterior part of the lateral pharyngeal wall. So posterior part of the lateral pharyngeal wall. Then laterally, it is going to be the parotid gland. Whereas laterally in the pre styloid, it was a medial pterygoid muscle. Here it is a parotid gland. So what are the contents with respect to the this post styloid? So the content is there is the presence of a carotid artery. So there's presence of carotid artery. Next is there's presence of the jugular vein. So there's carotid artery, there's jugular vein, there is 9th cranial nerve, 10th cranial nerve, there is 11th as well as 12th cranial nerve. Next is there is presence of the sympathetic trunk. Now how was the presentation? The presentation if you see there is the pharynx which is bulging behind the posterior pillow so the pharynx it bulge so there is bulge of the pharynx and where is this bulge present it is behind the posterior pillow so behind the posterior pillow pp next is there can be injury to the as discussed the contents we saw so there can be injury of those nerves that is injury to that of the 9 10 the 11 as well as the 12 and this leads to the vocal cord paralysis then comes we look at the sympathetic chain injury so SC injury the sympathetic chain injury leads to the Horner syndrome so this will lead to the Horner syndrome and there can also be the swelling of the parotid region so there may be swell of the parotid region To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe.